Hello, my name's Joe. I'm a solution architect from Hewlett Packard Enterprise. And today I'm going to talk to you about composable infrastructure and the first new product in this new category of infrastructure, HPE Synergy. To start with, let's compare different ways of deploying infrastructure. A lot of traditional three-tier applications are deployed on dedicated compute, storage, and networking hardware that's only used for running that one particular application. This has advantages in that you have all of the resources of that infrastructure dedicated to that particular application from a performance perspective and to grow into in terms of capacity. But we lack a little bit of flexibility. We can't share that resource very easily. And there's a risk of it becoming underutilized if that application uh, is wrongly sized for the infrastructure that it's provisioned onto. To solve a lot of that, converged infrastructure allows us to share resources, typically storage and compute platforms, all managed from a single interface uh, in a way that supports virtualization, physical resources, these sort of things. The next level of infrastructure is hyper-converged, where we turn those converged infrastructure technologies into easily deployed building blocks that typically have very easy to manage uh, interfaces and can be uh, deployed uh, in a scale-out manner. The final element, and this new category of infrastructure from HPE, is composable infrastructure, where we take the same principles that we've used around sharing converged uh, storage, converged um, compute, and the networking elements, but we make it more flexible and dynamic in terms of reallocating those resources to suit the application's needs as we deploy them in these environments. So for instance, I may deploy a group of uh, resources to tackle one particular application during uh, the day and a different uh, application uh, workload during the night on the same infrastructure. That's something we can do with composable infrastructure. Composable is made up of a few key components. The first is the compute, storage, and networking requirements. And what's different within composable infrastructure is that these are fluid resource pools that can be dynamically reallocated. This allows us to be more flexible and use those resources more efficiently. The way that we provide that flexibility is through a software-defined wrapper that can control how we template and allocate these resources. Within Synergy, this is the HPE OneView solution that runs on the Composer hardware. The final element is the universal API that provides connections to all of our partner ecosystem, all of our third-party integrations, and allows that resource, uh, fluid resource pools, to be accessed through a, a single interface without having to have separate interfaces for separate technology pieces. Those three elements combined are the, is the HPE Synergy value proposition. But let's focus in on this box to start with. How do we deliver the fluid resource pools? We need some hardware to be able to do that. Synergy takes a 12-bay frame in 10U of rack space, uh, and within that, within that frame are all of those compute, storage, and management resources, all of the shared power and cooling, needed to run, uh, run the applications within, within that footprint. It's a footprint that HPE has a long heritage with. It's very similar to our Blade System C class, and that has been a very popular platform for converged deployments. Composable lets us build on that success. In order to uh, get the best out of these platforms, we've also looked at how we innovate around connecting groups of frames together. And that's something that we've done through Virtual Connect and through network fabrics. Over here, I've drawn out three Synergy frames. Now, to facilitate a redundant network arrangement, you might expect that I'd need to provision two modules in every single frame in order to build this out in a resilient fashion. What I can do instead is deploy a master module in the first frame that can daisy chain connect into the adjacent two frames. So I only have to deploy one virtual connect module, but I'm connecting in to 36 compute nodes. This all acts as a single 
east-west fabric domain, which for virtualized workloads, for big data workloads, is really important because it means one compute node in this frame can easily communicate with a compute node in a remote frame. It's as though they're all deployed in one large uh, enclosure. For redundancy, what we also do is then maybe deploy another virtual connect module on the B side fabric that can also connect into those two adjacent, uh, those two adjacent frames for a fully redundant uh, connection. This is a massive benefit for Synergy in terms of scalability and the ease of deployment for those modern applications. We also address the storage requirements of modern applications by supporting a number of different storage technologies. Synergy can connect into existing SAN environments through Fiber Channel and also through iSCSI. We can also connect into direct attached environments by deploying a storage shelf inside the Synergy frame itself. This allows me to connect up to 40 small form factor drives into a Synergy frame in a DAS environment, really beneficial for software-defined storage technologies like vSAN, for instance. The final key element is how we manage and deploy the resources within Synergy. This is achieved in two separate ways. Within that frame, there are also spaces for two management appliances. One is the composer running the OneView software and connecting out to that API that stores all of the state and all of the template information for that, for that particular host. The other is an image streamer that stores the operating system that is applicable to that host. So I have all of my hardware state information and all of my software state information uh, able to be deployed alongside each other. When I aggregate those two things together and point them at a piece of server hardware in the form of a compute node, that is when that compute node takes on the personality that it's, that it's given from these profiles. Before those two things are allocated, this is completely stateless. There is nothing that differentiates this compute node from any of the others in the environment. And that gives me ultimate flexibility in deciding how I deploy my applications and my workloads onto composable infrastructure. If you'd like to learn more about Synergy or composable infrastructure, you can go to hpe.com forward slash Synergy. I hope this was useful. <laughs>